Hey friends, I don't feel like I don't feel like singing today because I'm a little bit sick. So uh, still I have some time to make a new video. So I decided to make a, a tutorial on uh, Jason Mraz's song. So that's why I have my hat to make it closer to Jason Mraz. Except that I don't have his talent, but who cares? Uh, still I can explain you how to play the guitar, so it's already good enough. So for this song, which is "Life Is Wonderful," you will need. Uh, to have the capo on the second fret but then I will give you the real name of the chords uh, for the verse we start with the verse so we start with a A flat minor which means that your bar chord is on the fourth fret then a D flat minor then a E a B with a bar chord and then a G flat so uh, you should have see the the chords appearing on the screen so if not maybe you have them on the i should put them on the comments right there so if they are not there you can ask for them i should put them almost right away i hope so but then for the strumming which is the particular part of this song um we yeah there is a specific pattern with the bass string which is something like this So you use an open string followed by the bass string. So in the case of the first chord, which is the A flat, you go open string for the lower string and then A flat. So for the frets it's two, four. Same thing with the D flat minor chord. So now we go to the uh, A string, so the second string from the top and goes again 2 4 2 4 same thing with the e 2 7 2 7 still on the second string for the b we go back to the first string and then it's still 2 7 and then the a small difference on the g flat it, there is two open strings one on the second string that one on the upper string and then you have to play four times every chord except for the B which is played only twice and the G flat which is which is also kind of different because it's played in a kind of arpeggio so it goes like this I'll try to play it slowly again Now for the chorus, uh, which is we use kind of similar chords. So we start with the A flat minor, then the D flat minor, then the G flat, and we finish with a B, but this time without the bar chord. Uh, so and we play only twice each chord. So it goes like this. Let's me let me explain this uh, finish part, which is a bit different. So when you play your G flat, it's like on the the verse. You have to go through the open string on second and first, but with uh, now the regular strumming. And for the last chord, which is the B, then you have to keep your finger on the second. Uh, string 
and goes like this and play then the, the open string so four two on the second string so just once and then you go like this so it's on the second string two four two and then on the the upper string six four two four two six four Last time you place that on the chorus, it just finishes this way. And then start again with a verse. And uh, the finishing of the song is just playing some kind of some kind of arpeggio on the A flat minor. So it goes like this, so I hope it will help you. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm still here to help you. Take care.